Ryan Sungley of The Ring Magazine here with Kendall Holt. Kendall, um, you know, it, it feels weird because you're the only person up on the podium who is still young enough to be actively fighting, <laughs> and yet you're being inducted into the New Jersey Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, tell me, what was it like to be up there and to be honored uh, in front of all your peers? Ryan, I'm going to tell you right now, before we even got up here, the introduction coming down from upstairs touched my heart. And that just reminded me of walk, the rain walk. And I'm like, and then I had, I had somebody had uh, sent me a text of your tweet and, and saying I was young enough to still compete. And walking down the stairs, I just got that feeling again like, I still could do it. Mind you, my last fight when I was 30 years old, so been wrestling a lot. So I saw Robert Guerrero say he has a lot left. Me too, so maybe that's a future fight that can get made because I definitely want to fight again. Like, uh, you know, have you thought in, like, recent years, or was it just now? Like, first off, let me ask you, what was it that made you say, okay, I'm not going to fight for now? You know what? Nothing ever made me say I'm not going to fight. I just, you know, I have financial difficulties, like most boxers do, so I had to get a job. So that didn't leave, you know, that I raised my son. That didn't leave much time for the boxing gym. And uh, I wasn't, I'm not one of those fighters who a promoter or matchmaker's gonna take a chance with his kid, like, let's, you know, let's call Kendall Hope. I'm just, you know, I'm a, a high risk, low reward type of fight, so I just didn't get those calls. So I just, you know, went along with my life, but now I really, I really, seeing all this excitement, all of this energy, made me really want to get back in it. I, I saw, I, I think you were studying for a while, you, you went back to school, um, uh, what are you doing now? What have you been doing since then? Uh, I'm a, um, a biometric screener. I, uh, I'm a uh, contractor, uh, subcontractor. So I'm, uh, I'm in the medical field and I go to different businesses. I, I draw blood, you know. And, and this is cool because I can make my own hours because, like I said, I'm a contractor. So I can make my own hours. I can go to the gym. I can go to work. I can do it all right now. So. I can still feed my family, I can get back in the gym, I can get back in shape, and like I said, the, the, the applause from the crowd reminded me from the ring walks, and it was so electric, and, and uh, just gave me a gratifying feeling, and I really want to feel that again, so I definitely want to fight again. Mm -hmm. You know, speaking about fighting, uh, I remember, like, you know, they, they mentioned that you're, when you won the championship, you beat Ricardo Torres, uh, 61 seconds, one of the craziest uh, first round fight, or one round fights, Walk us through that fight, man. Like, um, was it as crazy? I mean, no, actually, it must be much crazier being in the ring for that 61 seconds than to watch it. Oh, man. Uh, you know what? Every so often, someone posts it on Instagram, and it gets, and, I, and, and people just tag me so many times, and when I watch it, like, and especially if I haven't watched in a while, I still get chills from it, like, and I can, and I can pinpoint the exact time where it, the referee was counting and I see him wave his hands in the end. It's like, oh my God, I'm world champion. Like, you know, it's every fighter's dream to win a world championship. And I mean, just thinking about it sometimes gives me chills. So, I mean, I, I really, I still want to get back in there. Um, let me ask you about like, because uh, everyone always says that there's politics and boxing which uh, prevent fights. What was the one fight that you always wanted to get, but you were not able to get? You know what? I never have one. The rematch, and I don't think politics, the rubber match. I don't think politics played a part in that, but that would that would have been uh, a great trilogy. You know, every great champion, a lot of great champions have trilogies. I would have loved to have that trilogy. I mean, I still can get back in the ring and hopefully uh, force a rematch with Danny Garcia or or uh, with Lamont Peterson, and hopefully have a, a, a trilogy with one of those fighters. That would be great too. Mm -hmm. Like great I, for me, anyway. You, you, you said about talking about getting back in the ring. Um, what, like, uh, was that something you've always been thinking about doing? You know what? On and off, it, it, it comes to my mind. And I'll go to the gym, and I'll be in the gym a few weeks, and then I then I'll start getting sore, and I'm like, uh, you know. But I haven't, I haven't really had the opportunity to persevere and push through those those hard times in the gym. So when it, whenever my body starts getting sore, I will just fall back and kind of like rest a little bit. But now, like I said, after feeling this, feeling this electricity in this crowd here, I'm gonna push through that that soreness because I really want to fight again. I, I, like, um, you know, in the years, like, have you been around boxing? You go to boxing fights, you go to 
to uh, hang out at the gym, see what's going on. Are, are you around boxing much? I'm still around boxing. Uh, I go to the gym. Like I said, uh, a few months ago I was in the gym training. Uh, I spar once in a while with the kids. But now I'm, I'm really going to start picking it up. 